Make, 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 make them clap to this. To show our appreciation for your support. Make, 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 make them clap to this. Thank you, DJs. Today we're going to have a look at converting audio into EXS24 instruments. And this is a fantastic and fun tool that you can use for grabbing elements of audio content that you've already got and being able to turn them into a sampler instrument which means that you can trigger those individual elements by playing them on a keyboard. Um, one traditional way that this is used is with breakbeats. So let's say you've got a breakbeat which you really like. For example, this little fella here. Really nice breakbeat and I really like those individual sounds. It's got a lovely nice raw quality to it but that's not the actual beat that I want to incorporate into my song, composition, arrangement, whatever. What we can do is if I grab that and drag it into my Logic project, <coughs> I, I've then got the audio file there. Once you've got the audio file contained within your project, then all you need to do is select it, click on the audio menu drop-down box and scroll down to convert regions to new sampler track. Once you've selected that, you're going to get two options at the top here. The first one of these is to create zones from regions and the second is zones from transient markers. What it means by zones is that the EXS24 sampler instrument <coughs> is going to create an individual key zone so a single key will, pay, will play back just one of those little transient samples. So for example, a kick drum, a hi-hat, a snare, something like that. So we want to select transient markers because obviously the audio content we've selected isn't actually split up into regions. So selecting regions wouldn't work for us in this context. There are different situations where that's useful and we'll look at those in later videos. And um, I'm going to rename this and call this glad break. And this is quite important here, the trigger note range. Trigger note range determines where, as a default, the EXS24 is going to start and finish the range of uh, trigger points that it creates from these audio transients. I usually have this set to C1. This is because on a standard keyboard that you've got in front of you, where you've got maybe four octaves, something like that, usually the lowest C that you've got is C1. So that means I know I can access it on the keyboard without having to change octaves and things like that. So I'm going to select OK there. Now what happens next is that Logic snips each one of those little transient points up, turns it into a separate audio file and then inserts them into a key zone within the EXS24 sampler Let's have a look in here. Now if I click on edit, we can have a look in the background here. Now you can see on this left hand side here, we've got a whole list of separate individual samples that are being triggered by these various different keys. So if I now press C1, I've got a kick drum, and we've got a hi-hat, a rim click, etc. going up in exactly the same order that the actual audio file played back. But this means that I can obviously create my own beats using these samples. And these are really nice raw crunchy samples so it allows me to access a whole different kind of range of tones. And of course you can use this for pitched instruments as well, you could use it for string breaks or guitar phrases or vocal phrases, whatever you like. So if we now go back and have a look here, if I just play back this MIDI region here, this is actually playing back each one of these notes in exactly the right order so that we still hear the break as it originally sounded. So I can still use that break as it is if I choose to, or I can take the individual sounds and move them around to my heart's content.
fantastic tool, really useful. Um, lots of applications for this sort of thing, really useful as a composing thing. Um, in the next video, we're going to move on to having a look in a little bit more depth at the actual EXS24 itself and how you can manipulate the sounds that you've captured, the individual audio wave files that you've captured, and you can play them backwards, you can change the pitch, etc. etc. Have a good time with that. I came in the door, I said it before I never let the mic magnetize me no more But it's biting me, biting me, inviting me to rhyme I can't hold it back, I'm looking for the line Taking off my coat, clearing my throat The rhyme will be kicking it till I hit my line